What's up, Vinyl Community? It's your boy Chris coming at you live from my Dodge Ram. Um, on my way up to my boy Dylan at uh, Noble Records. You guys know how this usually goes before I even get there. Uh, just got in a bunch of awesome jazz. Um, one of the people that brought him so much jazz is a mutual friend of ours, Corey. If you still watch my videos, shout out to you, my brother. Hope you're doing well. Um, a lot of those releases I already had. So I was kind of watching the flip through, flip, flip through video and some of this other stuff thinking to myself, okay, you know, awesome stuff. I hope it goes to a good home. But then Dylan put one up on Instagram this morning. It's one I don't have. It's one I've been looking for for a long time. So your boy gots to have it. Gots to have it. So I'll put some stuff together real quick for trades. Got a nice stack of hot wax over here beside me. Uh, one thing I love about doing business with Dylan is, is uh, records are just as good as cash for him. And uh, we're gonna see what happens with the deal. But I'm on my way up now, and I'll let you guys know what it is I find. Stay tuned in, dudes. <laughs> What's up, Vinyl Community? It's your boy Chris coming at you live right outside of Noble Records in my pickup truck. Um, so uh, there was one record in particular that I had two friends after and uh, unfortunately sold before I got up here. So I wasn't able to procure that one for those two gentlemen. Um, I hate it for those two guys, but they're awesome guys. They understand how it works. So anyway, I was able to nab down three for my boy Ed. Uh, no, you know, none of them were on his radar before I got up here, but once I got up here and saw they were here, sending pictures, then, uh, you know, we went ahead and went from there. And then, of course, I nabbed down two for myself. So I'm going to start with my boy Ed, his records. Uh, first off is a phenomenal record. It's actually one of my favorites in my collection. Had it not, had this one not been one that I didn't have, Ed, if you're watching this, you'd have never gotten it. <laughs> and I'm sure you understand that. Uh, Street of Dreams, Grant Green. So with uh, Bobby Hutcherson on vibes, Larry Young on organ, Elvin Jones on the sticks, of course Grant Green on the guitar. This is a 1970 press, so I'm guessing probably one of those. I hate these sleeves. I'm guessing probably one of those like Blue Label, Black B, you know, or whatever type deals. We'll see. But uh. Oh, no. It's, I don't know. This is better than that. It's way better than that. Damn. All right. Great. Good stuff for you, Ed. Definitely better than that. Those pressings, the ones that I have in my collection or, ha or have had in my collection, sound phenomenal. So you'll be very happy with that. Uh, next up, 1965. Stereo Press. I think it's a Stereo Press. Is it a Stereo Press? It's a Status Press. 1965 Status Press. My bad. We three. Roy Haynes with Phineas Newborn and Paul Chambers. Roy Haynes, Phineas Newborn, and Paul Chambers. It's an absolutely phenomenal record. Uh, wonderful stuff. Yeah, man, I gotta tell you, this is one that definitely, I've had in my collection for quite some time, but now I'm sitting here looking at it thinking, man, it's been a while since I played this. It's an absolutely phenomenal session. Uh, so might be inspired to get home and play my personal copy because I picked this one up from my boy Ned today, uh, Ed today. But uh, we'll see how that happens. But, Ed, you're getting a phenomenal record in this one. Next up, Lee Morgan, the goat trumpeter in my eyes, the gigolo. Uh, 1968 stereo, this bitch is clean. With Wayne Shorter, Harold Mayburn, Bob Cranshaw, and Billy Higgins in the lineup. Obviously, anything Morgan, obviously. But uh, why not open it up and take a look at it? I think we should. I don't think my boy had a mind. Splat out. One of the most beautiful sights. Well, in terms of records, in my opinion, the most beautiful sight that one can look at. That's super clean. Original Blue Note label. You just can't beat it. So, Ed, you're getting one hell of a record here in this one, obviously. You know, you know how I am about Lee Morgan anyway. Um, next up is one that I was hoping to get when I got here, but wasn't banking on it. Um, this record, when Dylan posted it last night in the flip-through video, for one, it went through in the flip-through video, and I didn't know whether or not this one by itself was enough to justify me coming all the way up here. Because again, once again, guys, remind you guys, a lot of you guys don't realize, so many of you think I'm from North Carolina, that I live in North Carolina. I'm actually from upstate South Carolina, 
I just spend a lot of time in North Carolina. Uh, Noble Records, the shop is still almost an hour from me. It's between 50 minutes and an hour. And depending on traffic, it could obviously be more. So when I saw this one last night, it popped up like, ooh, I'd really like to have this one. Do I really want to get out of bed and drive an hour up there in my 5.7 liter Hemi, though? So, honestly, I decided not to. But uh, once the one after this one came up, I'm so glad I made that trip. But let's just go ahead with the record I'm glad I got. I'm going to go ahead and start opening it now. It's the McCoy Tyner Trio. Last year was a wonderful year for McCoy Tyner for me. And uh, so it's off to a, a great start again this year. McCoy Tyner Trio with Roy Haynes and Henry Grimes reaching fourth. Phenomenal stuff. It's an OG stereo. Splat out. You guys already know what that gatefold's about. Got to always look at the gatefold on an impulse release. And of course, you guys know how this is. Splat out. Beautiful orange and black label on impulse. You just can't beat that. Um, guys, I can't even begin to tell you how, how happy I am to be holding this. And now that I look at it, I'm thinking to myself... This really should have been enough just for me to come up here all the way, all, you know, all by itself, especially since I get up here and see how clean it is. You know what I mean? It's one thing to look at a flip through video and see a record, and it's another thing to get up here and hold it in your hands. But um, I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am to have this one. And then I'm getting ready to present to you guys. Of course, I'm having trouble with these labels, with this, with this sleeve. I always do have trouble with these sleeves. Um, this is the masterpiece this is the one that I came up here to get uh, this is the one that I got out of my warm bed this morning for uh, threw on a hoodie really fast threw on a ball cap really fast uh, just to get and this is an original stereo pressing of Tony Williams Spring uh, guys I love Tony Williams he's one of the great drummers in the history of planet earth in my honest opinion and in the opinions of pretty much anybody who's ever heard him play drums and I could not be happier to be holding this in my hand right now. It's, uh, of course, Tony Williams on the sticks. Wayne Shorter on tenor. Uh, Sam Rivers on tenor as well. Herbie Hancock on piano and Gary Peacock on the bass. Guys, this is a monster of a record. I freaking love it. Uh, obviously, I come all the way up here to get it. Let's look at the label. Mm. Seems look good. Wonderful. Splat out, guys. Original stereo pressing. It's got that Plastilite P or the ear, whatever you guys want to call it. The Van Gelder stamp. Um, signed, sealed, delivered. Um, I can't even begin to tell you once again just how thrilled I am to have come up here and scored this record, just scored this monster of a record. It was definitely worth the trip. I put together some awesome trades for Dylan really fast and uh, ended up costing me not too much money out of pocket for this entire stack. Um, But yeah, can't even begin to tell you how happy I am to have all this stuff, guys. Thank you so much uh, to my boy, Ed. I want to thank you, uh, you know, for being right there, being prompt, getting the cash to me really fast so that I can make the deal and not stand around the shop and uh, for sending me a little extra Skrilla for a couple of cold ones. I'm going to take you up on that, as you already know, my friend. Thank you so very much. Uh, to all of you guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. hope you're having a wonderful start to your year. And until next time, until next video. Keep dropping that needle, you guys.